On this episode of Two Women Sailing, we walk you through the process of how we got a custom-built mattress for our boat. I'm Vanessa. I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're Two, Two Women Sailing. Sailing. Today, we are going to do the template for our new mattress that we got. This is the kit from Portland Boat Mattress. And you know what, the nice thing is, it is really an easy process. I gotta keep this box because I'm gonna send the template back to them in their box. That's the template? Yep. We will spread that plastic out and literally trace, which is good because I don't know if you're good at measuring. I'm not good at measuring, especially when it comes to precision. There's a little duct tape that we'll use to hold it in place. And this is our little uh, angle measurement tool, which we may or may not use. Spreading the template was easy, and there was plenty of it to account for any size mattress. So, cutting holes so that we can now put duct tape down. So that keeps the template from sliding around. Next, Vanessa traced with a sharpie around the edges and corners. And this is a nice little mattress well. A lot of storage can be found under the mattress of a boat. So in order to access compartments with ease, Vanessa is tracing a line in the middle to account for a hinge. All right, what is this form you're filling out? It's the information about the mattress and they use it so they can tell the head of the bed and the foot of the bed and you have to put it on the top side of the label because you don't want them to make the mattress upside down. <laughs> Once the tracing is complete, the template gets folded back up and placed back in the box with the information form. Shipping label is applied and it's ready to go. When it comes back, it'll be a full size mattress. Somehow we just got this into the cockpit, but it finally arrived today after a few little delays, but now the task is trying to get it downstairs. <laughs> Has a hinge in the middle, so that's why it's folded like that. Luckily, the mattress wasn't too hard to maneuver, and it really wasn't all that heavy either. Our cat Whip supervised the whole process from the top of the stairs. We took the plastic cover off and shoved it into place. From dock to cabin, the whole process only took about 10 minutes. We finally have our mattress, and I gotta say, I'm pretty damn excited. Um, I might take a nap right now, even though it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Here's our chief mattress tester, and he's giving it the paws up. All right, so this is where the hinge is, so we have access underneath. I, I didn't account for these corners, but it's not really a problem, so here's what's gonna happen. I have access, this was a concern. Easy access to one of my through holes. And then this is storage. We're so happy to have our new mattress. And despite shipping delays, the process was simple and it's super comfortable. <laughs> so mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> 